professor Zeilinger, da dove ha incominciato i suoi studi, poi è arrivato al Nobel? Well, I, the point is that my father was also a scientist mm -hmm. and he gave him some microscope to play and this kind of thing. And I had a, a teacher in high school who was totally excited by physics. And he made me excited, you know. And then I studied at the University of Vienna, which was at that time uh, kind of very mixed, the curriculum. As a result, I did not go to a single hour of quantum mechanics. Lei ricorda ancora quando la quantistica è entrata nella sua vita? Yes, it came with my PhD thesis. I had to work with the neutrons, particles coming from a nuclear reactor and did some quantum experiments. And then I saw, oh, this is really interesting. So I went into it and until today I, I became fascinated and it's absolutely, absolutely uh, uh, strange and interesting. E la storia di un amore che è durato per tutta la vita. What's beautiful about quantum physics is it is mathematically a fantastic structure. Really beautiful. And unfortunately you have to learn some mathematics to understand it because I would like everybody to, to understand it. Tutti sono affascinati dalla quantistica, ma secondo lei c'è un modo semplice per raccontarla? Well, I wrote two books which I think have been translated into Italian even. The title of one book is Il Velo di Einstein. Il Velo di Einstein. It's the velo under, behind which the world is hidden and quantum physics takes away at least some of the velo. I suoi esperimenti più famosi sono su stati sui fotoni and you won the Nobel Prize because of them. Yes. E lei ha vinto il Nobel per questo. I initially started to work with another particle, namely neutrons. And then I saw that some pro features, some things like entanglement, cannot be done with neutrons. And I saw it has to be done with photons. So I switched to photons. Solo per quel motivo? Yeah. So the motivo was, was so, solo, was only that I saw there's something absolutely fascinating I can do. Lei ha fatto diversi esperimenti con i fotoni. Qual è, qual è il suo preferito? Well, that's difficult because they're all my children, you know, and I don't prefer any of the children. But the, question, the experiment I find most interesting is teleportation. And teleportation of entanglement. Allora abbiamo l'entanglement, due particelle in qualche modo legate tra di loro nell'universo e poi il teletrasporto. E... Che What Nutella you do si... is you, you, you use entanglement as the, as the way to teleport the state of another photon. So the entanglement is just auxiliary. You teleport the state of another photon and over arbitrary distances. Tutti pensano, sono affascinati dal teletrasporto. Lei pensa che arriveremo a tele, fare teletrasporto di Spock? That would be, that would be fantastic, would it? But uh, it, at, at present, I cannot see a way how to do it. The reason is that to, you have to, what you really do is you teleport the information which defines me. For a person, you have to teleport too much information. It cannot be done. C'è qualcosa che noi giornalisti non le chiediamo mai, ma che le piacerebbe dire della meccanica quantistica? It's what is quantum mechanics about? And it's, it's about our knowledge. It's our knowledge of the world. It's the information which we have about the world. It's not so much about real properties the world has. Ci si attendono anche delle applicazioni pratiche. Quali sono le più importanti e interessanti secondo lei? Well, one has to say that, that quantum mechanics is already part of modern technology. I mean, in your, in your mobile phone, 
you have zillions of applications of quantum mechanics. Mm. In which way? Every every computer chip uses uh, quantum states in your in your mobile phone, and uh, mobile and also the way uh, a mobile phone senses a magnetic field, for example, uh, is uh, using quantum mechanics. Quando avremo un computer quantistico non dis- non sperimentale, ma vero? Well, there are small experimental quantum computers, but a full quantum computer, nobody can say seriously when we have it. I believe that it's very far out. It's might maybe, you know, 20, 30, 40 years, something like that. So it's far? Not, it's not just around the corner. No, 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 no. <laughs> Quanti qubits servono per far funzionare un computer quantistico? People talk about thousand or ten thousand or hundred thousand or whatever. My feeling is that the ideas we use for quantum computation follow too much in parallel what the classical computer does. And I think that is too narrow. Se immagina il futuro del un uso del, del futuro computer quantistico, che cosa riuscirà a fare? That is impossible to answer. I remember when the first uh, uh, computer chips were invented, which are now used everywhere, uh, there was the opinion that this is not useful for anything because there is no problem which we can solve with it. So. Basically, with every new technology, with the laser, for example, with the uh, computer chip and so on, nobody knew what it will be used for. And that's the same for the quantum computer. Thank you.